Ever since I was a child, I took a liking to the dark and sinister side of things. And now, I want to share my nightmares with you. So pull up a chair, turn out the lights, and let the terrors overtake you. Welcome to Midnight Horror. My bloody Valentine. My bloody Valentine. Hey everyone, this is Rachel Craig, and this is Midnight Horror, my, mm, I can't remember, fourth movie sode? Does that sound right to you? Yeah, that sounds about right. (laughs) How many times have you been in this room with me? I don't know, like seven or eight, but not always for the same reason. That's true, that's true. I think it's number four. Yeah, that sounds about right. (laughs) Um, So yeah, as you heard, uh, I got got my co-host, Ashley Yates in the room. Hey! And then I got a newbie, but... Not not a newbie to friendship. We've been friends for a very long time. Aww. That is true. We've that known each other true. ever since college. Yes. And you also lived with me for like one month. You slept on my couch. I sure did. <laughs> I sure guys. did. But we got Haley Oldham in the room. Hello. Yay. I'm excited to be here in this room that I I've know. been in before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've probably heard Haley's voice um, on... Um, what's our other podcast Neon that we do? Nights. Neon Nights. Neon Nights. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I? Where are we, you Where guys? Are we? What day is it? <laughs> what day is it? What's going on? Where are my pants? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, you've probably heard her voice before. Um, but yeah, this is her first time being on the movie sode. Yes. And you're a huge horror fan, right? Mm. Sort of. I mean, we did see it together. We you saw had it a great together, time. but I'm not. I'm so not you a like huge horror some fan. horror movies? I like. I thought that it was gonna scare the shit out of me. Uh, can I? That's them true. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, that's a question everybody always asks on like every podcast. I didn't they do. do that. No, we I always. Can I say swear words? My mom. My mom has suggested many times that we do not swear on this podcast sorry. and on any of our so podcasts. Sorry, Mrs. Craig. I'm sorry, sorry, Mrs. Craig. It's um, okay. She's one of our Patreon subscribers. Hi, mom. Yeah. Um, no, I'm not like a big horror fan, really. Like. I mean, we saw it together, and I thought it was okay. going to scare the shit out of me. I thought I was Wait, totally the wrong. Then. Yeah. Oh, okay. The new, the new one. one. Okay. Well, we watched the old one together too, and it was really it was not silly. scary. It was silly. It's it really yeah. silly. Fun. I like ones that like like the one what we watched today, like that are like okay, silly and like you know that's supposed to be scary, but it's like kind of old school, so it's fun. Okay. But I don't like like the so newer... you're so you're kind of like Will. I'm like Will. Yeah. You're, I'm a lot you like, like Will. like you can do the old the old slasher films. I like the old slasher stuff. I like Hitchcock stuff. Yeah. Because it's more of like psychological mm-hmm. thing. Oh, yeah, I love those. But, like, gory slasher, like, I've never seen, like, this, we talked about this earlier, like, I've never seen Scream, or... Oh, yeah. I know what you did which last you summer. Which you know what you did last summer, I've never seen. Well, Look, we went to if I know you at all. And we were, I was terrible at it, I was just like, I'm just gonna write the answers <laughs> while you guys true. tell me what they are. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm glad to have you here. Thank you, I'm glad to be here. It was super fun. <laughs> we watched My Bloody Valentine in honor of Valentine's Day coming up in a little while. Um, but I wanted to have I wanted to have another all female episode because Woo! it's sort of Valentine's Day a little mm-hmm. bit. It's not exactly February thirteenth. It's it's what like the eleventh maybe. Yeah, it's yeah. the eleventh. But I don't that's know. okay. We can make any day Valentine's <laughs> Day. Yeah. But I'm sorry I did not make mosaic uh, portraits out of both of you in your favorite soda bottles. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's okay. Leslie Nope would be that's so, okay. Leslie nope would be so disappointed. I will take a cross-stitch pillow with my face to make okay. up for it. I did make those for you. Okay, but, good. Perfect. So. Yeah, great. Good, good, good. Um, so before we get into the movie, I wanted to, I, I always do a fun little like dumb question at the beginning of these <laughs> podcasts. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I'll start with Ashley. Ashley, what is your perfect Valentine's Day? Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, my God. So it would be so romantic if someone would just, like, take me on a tropical vacation because February in Chicago friggin' sucks. Yep. It sure does. We just had a giant snowstorm. Like, and blindfold I me die. for 12 hours if you have to. I don't even care. It's the most romantic thing in the world. Yeah. Yeah. As long as when it comes off, I'm on a beach. Yeah. yeah. Just put me in the sunshine. Yeah. Somehow. Yeah. All right, Haley. Oh, I don't know. I'm not into like super cheesy That's okay. romantical dates. I think the <laughs> tropical island thing sounds yeah. so I picked an impossible one. <sighs> like amazing <laughs> right now. Or just I don't know, just 
hanging out with somebody, you know, watching Netflix, drinking mm-hmm. some champs. Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. sounds great to me. And then going to Target the next day and buying that 50% off. Yes. Rocher oh, yeah. Buying we're all about. the 50% off chocolates. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so really the perfect Valentine's Day is the day after Valentine's yes. Day when all that shit's all that on shit's sale. All that shit's on sale. <laughs> I love that. Yes, for sure. Yeah, I think I think I am the same as you. Like, I don't really want to do anything fancy. I yeah, don't no. want presents or anything like that. I just want, like, I think what we are actually doing this year is we're we're taking a break from our healthy eating for <laughs> now. And we're going to get a heart-shaped pizza. Yes. yes. Which yeah, uh, JBL, JBL Alberto's down the street. Mm-hmm. Really good uh, pizza place that we love. They make That's heart-shaped cute. pizzas. And we're going to get one and probably Aww. just hang out and watch a movie and snuggle. I think I'm seeing the Pride film show on Valentine's Day, actually. (laughs) Yeah. I'm going to The Princess Bride at Music Box. Oh, Oh, yeah. Which I think is a pretty good. It's a great love story, right? It is. I love that movie. Everybody loves that movie. I feel like if you don't love that movie, I don't trust you. I know. Best couple in that movie, the old couple. Yes. Yeah. In the hut. Of course. Billy Crystal and what's her name? His his real wife, which I can't remember her name. (laughs) I'm so bad. But yeah, you know. Really? I don't know. Isn't that yeah. Carol Kane? It's Carol Kane. Carol yeah, Kane. thank you. Yes. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Give me a minute. <laughs> All right. Well, side note, we should start a, uh, a Princess Bride podcast <laughs> later because I that. could do one for real. <laughs> called As, As You Wish. Bride. As yes. You Wish. <laughs> podcast. Oh, That'd my God. Be so great. <laughs> I mean, Evil Kitten is looking for, you know, extra podcasts. So yeah. if you ever want to do one, one, Haley, you let me know. Okay. Trademark. I'll let you go. Trademark. <laughs> um, so, for this movie, as y'all know, I love to make a signature cocktail to go along with every movie. So, today, I made something called a bleeding heart. And it was pretty good, mm-hmm. yeah, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. I just sort of bought some stuff and made it up. And <laughs> you brought all the reds. Yeah, all, <laughs> all the red, the red, all the red all stuff. The red so, I, I got some strawberry vodka and then some, I think it was... It's a barefoot red wine. I think it was called Sweet, just like Sweet Red or something like that. Basic California. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then a couple of juices. I got some pomegranate juice and cranberry juice, mm. and it was good. And then I garnished it with a little, a little strawberry, strawberry because it's it delightful. looks like a heart. Yeah. It does. I was just trying to make it look like blood, and it came out kind of purple, <laughs> but it tastes really good. So. I mean, we talked about purple blood is... The correct blood, right? That's on the inside. It's, the, it's on the, the inside. inside. It's yeah. the oxygen-rich oxygen blood. Yeah, so we're just drinking oxygen blood. <laughs> there you go. Yummy. Oh, yummy. yummy. Delicious That's oxygen blood. It's a deep vein blood. blood. <laughs> <laughs> and if you are a Patreon subscriber, you get to see me uh, on a video making the drink. So if you are not a Patreon subscriber then that's a pretty damn good reason to become one to see <laughs> me make a drink for yeah, y'all. I agree. <laughs> that's actually a really good point. Mm-hmm. It's a good point. It is worth it. <laughs> it's very worth it. it. I just watched it. I'm adorable. So <laughs> <laughs> Concur. <laughs> so with that, everyone, let's get into the movie My Bloody Valentine. And it is the 1981 version, not the 2009 version, which is super 3D. Though I might try to watch that now. I also Out might try to watch it because it is also available on Vudu. Mm. Wow. <laughs> so, all right. We just need 3D glasses to get the full or experience. 3D, 3D TV. <laughs> I have one of those. Do you really? Yeah. You do? Just found out when I accidentally pushed the 3D button on the remote control, <laughs> oh and I was God. like, "Oh crap!" <laughs> I was at your house for. New Year's Eve, and we did not yes. watch 3D fireworks. We don't have the glasses. I was about to say, do you have the glasses? No. Nope. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay. Don't well, know we, where to get them. We em. need to reassess this friendship. <laughs> Amazon? So. Mm. <laughs> I mean, yeah, probably. So high tech. <laughs> um, all right. Crazy. So, my bloody Valentine. We open with men working in a mine, down the mine shafts, and they're all wearing the scary masks, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Ash is already laughing. (laughs) Silly. It was. I mean, but those, I've always found those masks to be pretty scary looking. Those, like, gas masks. Yeah, the gas masks. The ones that were, I mean, like. Oh, no. Mining is a terrifying profession. It's a terrifying profession. No one should do this. I mean, you you have risk of death at, like, 90% all the time. (laughs) No one should do it anymore. Mm -mm. Yeah. (laughs) But they're, they show them working for quite a while. And the or no, it's there's two there's two people that are in the full mining outfit with the masks and everything. So they're walking down the mine for a while, and then 
all of a sudden, one of them takes off their mining outfit, and surprise, it's a sexy lady. A sexy uh, lady in her finest <laughs> white oh lace God. undies. With, might I add, lime green eyeshadow. Yes. Ooh. Yes. That was the first thing I noticed. I was like, Frizzy, what is going on? Frizzy blonde hair because uh, it's the 80s. Yes. And then a little heart tattoo on her heart. Super brazen hussy. On her boobie. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know. That's how you know. That's how you know. Chicken you got a boob tattoos. tattoo? Forget it. <laughs> Forget it. Um, so I I guess these two folks are about to fuck in the mine shaft. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She she tries to take the dude's mask off and he's like, no. And she's like, oh, okay. But not I'll after just... stroking it. Yeah, like, and then she like strokes while. it for a while. Um Ugh. <laughs> so it's they're a very specific fetish. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So they're just they just like rub on each other for a while. Nothing else really happens. And then all of a sudden he puts his hand his hands on her shoulders and just pushes her back. And I guess she gets pierced by his axe, his pickaxe, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it didn't really show it that well, but that's what I assumed happened. No, they were like making out and then he puts the pickaxe in the wall and starts touching her boob and then yeah. shoves her back because they have to do a close-up of the boob so you can see the point of the pickaxe right. go through her little heart tattoo. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Would a boob tattoo hurt? I would think? imagine so. I'm trying to think of how that uh, would feel. I feel like no more so than other places yeah, on your body. Yeah, I don't know. It just seems like such a... Well, because usually tattoos that are that are on bone hurt way more right. than they do if they're on like a fatty like or heart. Mine is like on my fleshy. side and yeah. it's like... Oh, but because your heart's right there, really. yeah, I feel like it would rattle your chest thing. in a weird way. Yeah, yeah, that might be full. It's an odd <laughs> choice, weird. girl. Weird. Odd choice. <laughs> Good choice for the movie, I guess. But, I mean, uh, odd choice for probably life. painted on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it was definitely painted on. No, they're like we they're can like, only cast can women only that have a this. real tattoo. Show us your tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bring them in. Casting call for women with heart tattoos on their on boob. Their Here we go. <laughs> That's how they wound up with her. <laughs> yeah, probably more than we probably think. Probably actually a lot more than we think. Um, okay, so he kills her, and that's really sad. But, you know, we Is didn't it? really know her, so whatever. <laughs> um, so we're back to a bunch of miners at work. They all go into the showers, and they have horrible locker room talk, which was fine in oh, the 80s, but I don't like it anymore. They were all, yeah. like, snapping never liked towels it at, all. at each other. And, like, they were like, snapping a lot of towels. It was a lot of towels Rowdy, snapping. uneducated mining culture yeah. that they definitely tried to shove in our face there. I'm mm-hmm. like, uh, yeah, but they can read, though, right? Like, they're <laughs> adults. I mean, you would think. Maybe. Ooh, that, it was wild. That was sort of a weird theme of this movie. Like, yeah. all of, there's all these men and women, too, but mostly the men – where they they all they're all miners they all work at the mine but they we couldn't really tell how old they were because they were all extremely immature the entire movie they yeah. acted like yeah. teenagers but then they were old enough to have a job and also go to in the bar mine. and drink yeah at a mine so i'm like are they over 18 are they over 21 Clearly, none of them are in school because they work at the mine all yeah. day. So, and maybe have for a while. That town did not seem like a school was no. anywhere near there. No, because when they were doing like the exterior shots, it was just all a bunch of like there was either like three buildings. Yeah, like bro- it was town. like a lot of shanty town, a lot of industrial, like broken down mine shafts, and just. I don't know. That I mean, that's clearly their only way of money in this mm. entire town. There's a union the hall mine. and a laundromat. For right? sure. That's all we know. Yeah, that's what we know. <laughs> Good place to live. And one rec room at yep. the mine. <laughs> yep. um, so they have horrible locker room talk, and I don't like what any of them are saying. And then they all proceed to, I guess, I don't know. They're like, yeah, let's go see our girls. Yeah, woohoo! And then, like, country music starts to play, and they all, like, dukes have hazarded over their vehicles. Yeah. <laughs> The only plot point in the showers was that uh, the the owner of the mine slash the mayor's son is back in town and working at the mine and right. is looking to get mm-hmm. his girlfriend back, but she's dating someone else and they're all miners together and mm-hmm. that's the drama there. Yeah, that was short lived because Dukes of Hazard yeah. <laughs> had to happen apparently. Yeah, it was very quick and I kind of missed it because I was just looking to see if there was going to be male nudity, it was but there confusing. wasn't. I was, was very not. excited about that. And even if there had been. Eh. There wasn't Those female guys are nudity not, either. There I wasn't mean, female, no female nudity in this movie, uh, which was kind of depressing. Oh, the boob, yeah. 
I just mean, the lazy well, whatever, bra boob. Lazy bra. And I then the, the porn at the bar. I mean, yeah. <laughs> we'll get to that. We'll get yeah. to that. We'll get to that. <laughs> That's an important plot point. Um, <laughs> so we find out that the town's real name is Valentine's Bluff. That's the, the town's real name. <laughs> Valentine's, Valentine's Bluff. Bluff. So all the boys roll into town and they just make such a ruckus. They're just ruining everything. They're coming in like, woo! <laughs> One of them actually oh has God. one of them has an air horn, and he does bust in to the uh, the room where all of the women are preparing for the Valentine's Day dance. As women should be doing. As women should, because the men go to work, and the women work in work on the Valentine's Day dance. <laughs> and a bunch of them are clearly dating a few of them because they they made a point to show that like which which dude was dating a woman because they would come in kiss her another guy would come and kiss her another guy come and kiss another woman and then the single dudes would just like stand to the back and be like oh those boys except for our favorite uh, Uh. howard who was hitting on that's true pretty much everyone i actually wrote on my notes um gretchen equals feminist icon because he hit on her and she told him quote Suck it in and zip it up. And I yeah. thought that was the fucking funniest thing ever. <laughs> Suck it in and zip Suck it up. It in and zip <laughs> it up. Like, not Gretchen. Howard. Yes, Gretchen. Good for you, girl. Yeah, Howard was definitely the clown of the group. Oh. I mean, they were all pretty terrible, but he was the epitome of clown. There's always He's the one, one the in these horn. kind of movies. I feel like there's always yeah. one that's like, I'm the funny one. But like most of the time, they're actually like funny. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. He had a gold tooth. He had a gold tooth. He had a gold tooth. So and he had funny. an air horn. That was funny. <laughs> and he was wearing silly glasses. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I'm Howard. I'm the funny one. <laughs> oh, Howard. I hated him so much. Yeah, he was, oh so god, much. he was the worst. He was just such a dumb. Worst. Oh. Um, yeah. So then we cut to um, this this cute elderly couple. They're not a couple, but they were walking together. We have Mabel, and then oh. we have the mayor. Who I never caught his name, Mister Hetton, Hetton, yeah, it was the name Hetton, Hettinger, Hettingen, Hettenberg. Some. I know, I know, a computer's right in front of me, but I don't want to look it up right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's but yeah. So, so they make it a point to tell us as the viewers that this is their first Valentine's Day dance in twenty years, and they make it a point. By saying it twice. Because <laughs> Mabel says, I'm just so excited. This is our first Valentine's Day dance in 20 years. And then a couple of minutes go by. And then the mayor says, well, I just don't know how we're going to handle this first Valentine's Day dance in 20 years. I'm like, yes, we heard you the first time. So they said it three times. Because then he was like, maybe you shouldn't be mentioning that it's the first dance in 20 years. That, okay, and we're so like, three times. Too late. I'm like, Everybody's we got it. it. We you heard You mentioned it. it a lot. And uh, let's see. Oh, so one, so as the mayor and um, Mabel are walking up the stairs, stupid Howard busts Howard. out with a bunch of what looks like blood all over his head. What was that, though? I think it was just red paint, like oh, actual red paint God. that he just dumped on his head. Because he was supposed to be like, like scare, like our first scare of the movie, I yeah. guess. Like, making us think that, oh, my God, he's dead. But yeah. it was very obvious that it was not real. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so she she screams. She's like, oh, my God. And then he's like, aha, I got you guys. <laughs> and they're Good like, one, Howard. They're like, oh, Howard, you're Howard, so silly. Uh-huh. Hey, um, um. So after a while, uh, the shenanigans continue at the the valentine's day dance like set up and the men are like all right we're out of here (laughs) oh yes and then you're right it does mention that tj is the mayor's son and he's back in town for the first time yeah because everyone's grouchy "Mm -hmm." just looked up it's mayor hanninger 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 okay hettinger hanninger first name just uh, the IMDb mayor? literally says Mayor Manager. Mayor. So maybe his first name is Mayor. Manager. And they were like, well, that's your first name. I guess that's guess your job. the mayor. Yeah. <laughs> Probably John. Probably. <laughs> Something like that. There's already seems another like John the, in this movie. Seems yeah. like a John. Seems like a John. <laughs> um, so, yes. So he's like, well, when he comes back in town, I made sure that he worked in the mine. I know he doesn't want to, but I made him. And it's like, <laughs> where else okay, is he going to work? Prospector. I mean, if he's going <laughs> yeah. back to this town, where else is he going to go? That's true. That is the one job. Yeah. The, literally the only one. Anyway, 
So after all the guys leave, um, there is a mention of, oh, Mayor, uh, there was this uh, this box left for you. And it's, you know, one of those Valentine's Day boxes of chocolates, or we think is a box of chocolates. <laughs> and he's like, oh, thank you. Who was it left by? And the kid's like, I don't know. It was just here when I got here. And he's like, okay, well, thanks. <laughs> so then later we see the sheriff and the mayor drive off. And then the mayor opens the heart box, and it's a real human heart. Dun, dun, dun. And then we do hear the mayor say, like, not again, right? Yeah, he's like, not again. Dear God, not again. (laughs) (laughs) So we know something's up. Mm. The heart does look really cool, though. Like, the one thing that stayed true is the blood in this movie was It was excellent. Yeah. Yeah. I was very impressed with the special effects in this movie. I mean, the blood effects. There was, that was the only special effects in the whole movie, was that there was good blood effects. It makes me feel like we're slacking in 2018, because the amount of CGI blood, albeit decent CGI blood, Mm. but that's what they use now, and I'm like, come on. Just throw some fake blood at it. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, corn syrup and corn syrup and red dye. Corn syrup and red dye does not cost that much. No. Just come on. It comes out with so but lazy. All right. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> another podcast. I'm just. <laughs> um, so now we're at the bar where all the all the kids slash thirty year olds. We don't know how old they are. The, the <laughs> people, do not. townsfolk, the, the townsfolk, the youngins, the youngins. <laughs> so they're all hanging out at the bar, and the bartender is the only one. That is aware of the dire situation that is this town. Dave. Dave. Yeah. His name is Dave. We didn't find that out until like way later, but his Bartender name is Dave. Dave. Bartender Dave. But he he's saying like this big like poem, I guess. But at the the part that I caught was beware the fourteenth if you value your life. Mm. And then there's a flashback to twenty years ago at the Valentine's Day dance. And two men that were minors wanted to get to the Valentine's Day dance so much, they were like, ah, whatever, and they just slacked off on their job, and they forgot to check the methane levels, I think it was. And so the mine exploded, and it killed five, or it, it buried five men alive, but one survived, and there How was... How did he survive? By eating Bodies. Yes. By eating Ugh. dead bodies. Gross. <laughs> also yeah. a cool effect, though. Yeah, yeah. it's a good effect. Yeah, he was real crazy. They made him an edible mm-hmm. leg, and or he arm, was like, he was, was chewing on an arm, and he looked into the camera and was like, "Rah!" <laughs> it was great. It was amazing. But I think Yuck. Dave is—he used to be a miner, and so mm. he was like, "I'm the one that found him, and I saw him chewing on the arm and whatever." Mm-hmm. So then it. It is known that he, I guess he went crazy, obviously, because he was stuck in the mine and lived off of human bodies. So then he started to put hearts, human hearts, into heart boxes because that's when the Valentine's Day disaster happened. It was like on February 14th. That's when the mine crashed. And he was like, screw all these other people for not saving me. I'm going to put human hearts in mm-hmm. boxes and send them to people. Yeah. Wait, he went to the loony bin first for a minute. And then he d- got he out. He did go he to did. the loony bin. Oh, okay. I thought it was that he and did they that put first and then they put him in the loony mm. bin. I think I think they put him there first for eating people. I mean, yeah. That's and then he got I out so. and killed two idea. more, at least. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> They're like, you. we tried. Get back in there. Get, yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> you, we, we. <laughs> Not rehabilitated. <laughs> Not rehabilitated. Clearly, clearly let's didn't work. <laughs> put you back in there. Um, but yeah, so every February 14th, his bloody pickaxe reminds everyone to not celebrate Valentine's Day. The irony is that the town <laughs> is called. The town <laughs> emblem is a heart with mining gear mm-hmm. crossed inside of it. So, yeah. like a hammer and a pickaxe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So God, I bet they thought they were so clever when so, they were like, the so town emblem. Clever. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you just can't get away from it, can you? <laughs> um, but of course, no one believes him. They all laugh at him. They're like, ah, stupid Dave. He doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> so they all carry on at the bar. Stupid so, kids. Yeah, dumb kids slash possibly 30-year-olds. We don't know. <laughs> or no adults. <laughs> <laughs> Real very, mystery. Very immature adults. 
Um, so now we're back at, with uh, Sheriff and the mayor, and we find them at the lab, I guess, or... The s- morgue? The morgue. There's a lot of jars with parts in them. it had to have been <laughs> the morgue. Or, and it was also in a different town, too. Yeah, like, they literally right. had to leave Valentine's Bluff to, like... Find a real doctor. That's right. Who was my favorite character in this movie? By the <laughs> yeah. way. He was like, Yeah, this is a human heart, all right. Real thank, thank you. you. Oh shit. Excellent doctoring, <laughs> my friend. Excellent doctoring. And it looks mangled <laughs> because it got pickaxed. Yes. Which he did not figure out, no, I guess. He but... sure didn't. <laughs> yeah, because didn't he say, Oh, it looks like it just got ripped out? It's 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 all it's all weird looking. Yeah. It's all mangled. He was amazing. The actor was amazing. <laughs> he was great. I love him. What a what a good little bit part. Yep. I'm sure I'm sure that guy was very happy to have that I'm job. I'm sure he was. <laughs> um uh but yeah, so then we we uh, the murderer's name is Harry Warden. I think that's the first time that they mention that name or maybe the guy oh, maybe yeah. the bartender like does the mention bartender it. I can't remember. Does, yeah. He does, yeah. I, that's the first time that I picked they up on it. They say it so many times in this movie. It's hard to remember the first time. Well, yeah, after I heard it then, I was like, well, now I can't stop hearing it. Everyone's yeah. like, it's Harry Warden. He's back. <laughs> but yeah, so they they determine that Harry Warden, who is the murderer, is back in town, back for business. So then we cut to Harry, like actual Harry, lurking around and watching sweet little Mabel through the windows and doing his uh, Darth Vader. <laughs> No one seemed to notice a dude in full mining gear wandering around aimlessly, but yeah, yeah I mean, in the day, like I get that it's a mining town, but you wouldn't wear your shit you outside your of full... the mine. No, it's people like Howard, who probably has done that a thousand times. That people are like, oh, it's just Howard, it's just Howard, <laughs> but it's not. It's not Howard. No. And sweet little Mabel, she's in the laundromat, and she's just like, oh, do 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 do. I'm having so much fun. I'm being so great. <laughs> I'm washing this pillow that's shaped like a heart. I think that's what she was doing. <laughs> so so she like pulled it out, smelled it, and threw it back in there. Like, I was like, Ew. what? Aw, and we were like, no, Mabel. Mabel, no. Why are you washing that pillow? Like that. I, I don't want to know. Um, no, me either. But so she goes into the back room, and then he comes in. It's like a POV of Harry. And he comes in, and he puts a heart box down. And then, ugh. Uh, I can't read what I wrote here. I don't know. Hides. He just hides. He hides oh, when yeah. she like opens it and she's like, Jake. Oh, yeah. Mabel comes out and she <laughs> finds it. Yeah. My, my scribbling is just ridiculous. <laughs> Mabel comes back out and she finds the heart box and she's all excited. And she's like, oh, I hope. Is it from him? Oh. And she, I, she's like, what, like in her 60s? Or something. I can't tell with this town. I mean, she that, could I be know. a forty-year-old. She woman. could be forty. And I would something not know about the early '80s. That just makes zero sense. No, like the fashion, fashion is wa- very and the hair confusing. And it, yeah, yeah. She looks like an roughly old the same lady. Age. But yeah, who knows? She could have been forty-five. She's probably in her know. like I would say late forties, early fifties. That's true. I'd say late forties to early seventies. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Somewhere in between there. Not too old for love. Yeah, I oh, think. Of course, obviously, because she was exactly. very excited, thinking that it was from her beau. And then she opens the note, and it says, oh, "Let's see, what does it say? I didn't write it down. It says something like, oh, roses are red, violets are blue. One is dead. One is dead, and, and so, so are, are you.'" you. Oh, I'm so happy that that, oh, that fulfilled every need I needed from this movie. There's and a lot so of are you. clever notes. She like underlined you like three times just in case she didn't so get it. Are so are you. So are you. And then, yeah, he ends up showing up and then he kills Mabel. And then he uh, made it come true. Made it come true. This is very upsetting. I know. I liked her a lot. She was very sweet. <laughs> she was a little too excited about Valentine's Day. Yeah. Yeah. In that town. I mean, well, it's, what else it's is there basically to be your legacy. For? I mean, I just, you know. <laughs> Quite actually nothing. Quite yeah. actually, like, trying to think, like, nothing. It's mine and her Valentine's Day, either one. Yeah. You got two things to be excited about. Oof. Damn. That's it, huh? Um, so now we... <laughs> Woof. <laughs> so now we cut back to, like, all of the men in the town. They're all at this junkyard, just staring at a car engine, I guess. No, they were cooking frozen dinners oh, they were on cooking the car frozen engine. Dinners. Like oh, a right. podunk and bunch Paulus of lunatics. And was like, this is real junk food. It's uh, like, oh, stop. Literal junk food. Literal junk yep. food. It was oh, turkey. Gross. 
but someone had asked for roast beef or something like that. Oh. I'm like, what difference does it make? It's going to taste like gas also, either way. Where'd y'all get that? You know? Yeah. Also, they had a lot of food. Don't you around. have a home? Why aren't you at a home? Don't any of you live anywhere? Don't any of you have a kitchen that you can go oh, to? No. Why are Maybe you all? Not. Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. Because they're all just hanging out at the junkyard, being weird. Being weird. Mm-hmm. And being so angsty. We have this. We have this fun male rivalry mm. with Axel and TJ. So TJ, like we said, was. The, the mayor's son, he left for a while, and now he's back, and it's all fucking weird and mysterious. The most eligible bachelor in mm-hmm. Valentine's Bluff. Yikes. Mm-hmm. He is a British actor who did not do a good job of hiding his British accent in no. the movie. Mm-hmm. Truly thought he was Canadian. But again, everybody else in this movie is Canadian, so I guess that rubs off on yeah. people. Yeah, yeah. We were saying the accent is hard to place, and it's because it's not an accent at all. Not, no, <laughs> Trying uh, real hard. Of three. Anyone from anywhere to actually speaks, but yeah. Then of course Axel is like the typical like alpha male. He's blonde and he's all muscular Get and that tan. Chin, Get that you know, the jawline, the chin. And he is now dating uh, TJ's ex from when he left. Mm. Whenever TJ left, he snagged her up, and he's like. Sorry, man. Sarah's with me now. Of course, her Sarah. Name is Sarah. Her name is always Sarah. <laughs> Sarah. <laughs> and she's also blonde and beautiful because it's the eighties. Apologies so. to any Sarahs out there. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. You were named that. It's way. your parents' fault. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. All right. Um, so, oh, and also they both play harmonica pretty damn well. <laughs> Turns out, <laughs> or at least are good at faking it. Yeah, <laughs> at least they're good at faking it. Because, yeah, Axel pulls out a harmonica, and then TJ pulls out a harmonica and, like, harmonizes with him on the harmonica. Harmonica battles are not what I expected to be happening in this like, movie. I thought yeah. that, I was like, okay, maybe they're friends. Like, it's yeah, a healthy it's like a, rivalry, yeah. whatever that means. No. <laughs> yeah. But no. So, basically, they sort of bitch at each other for a while. He's like, whatever, dude, I'm a Sarah now. Get over it. He's like, no, I'm going to win Sarah back. And he's like, whatever, man. So <laughs> I don't even so care. I don't even care. Ugh. <laughs> I'm a douchey bro. I'm gonna walk away. Ugh. Mining. <laughs> I'm gonna put M- mining, man. mining and <laughs> engine turkey and <laughs> engine turkey. <laughs> That's what it was. Crushes basically, you know? it on my head. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, they uh, were. They were never not drinking. They were. They always had a beer can in their hands the entire movie. I yeah, feel like. and they were also driving an awful lot. Yeah, yeah almost yeah, quite a lot. <laughs> Quite a lot. Back and forth between the bar, Union Hall, mm-hmm. and the mining area. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we cut back to the police station. And we find out that Harry Warden uh, is no longer at the mental hospital. And no, 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 not only is he no longer there, there's not even any records of him being there at all. Yeah. He went completely off the grid. <laughs> yeah. And the, the lady at the mental hospital is like, look, this just means that either he was released a long time ago or he died. And that's all I know. Goodbye. <laughs> and okay, just, bye. <laughs> she's like, that's all I know. I'm washing my hands in all this responsibility. Mrs. Riley. Mm-hmm. Which we didn't find out until way later. Oh, yes. And they said her name a hundred times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like relaying the so story a thousand times. times. Okay, but thank you. I can never pick up on people's names in movies. I'm like, wait, did they say her, her, her name? Yeah, it did take maybe? us a while to figure out that Axel's name was Axel. Yeah. yeah. It was That's true. a long time. kind of confusing. <laughs> yeah, it took a minute. Anyway, so we cut to Sarah and her friend. Uh, I, again, didn't catch her name. <laughs> Sarah and her crazy friend. Patty. Is that Patty? That was Patty. I, it was? Yep. Oh, okay. It was Patty. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I get it. She had on a hat and the scarf. Yeah, and she looked really different from different. when we she saw her tall. later. Yeah. Okay, so Sarah That's and Patty. That's why I Patty, remember. She was tall and had a tiny face. Yes. She was lovely. Very cute. But she had such a tiny face. She was. She had okay, a an Amazon. Face. Okay, cool. I just couldn't tell that that was still her. Um, so Sarah and Patty are walking, and they're talking about TJ and Axel. And Sarah's all like, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. And then, <laughs> and then Patty gets a little weird at this point. <laughs> yeah. And she describes... <laughs> I don't even want to say it. <laughs> I, <laughs> <laughs> she said, what? No, say it. Say it, yeah. Go ahead. She sa- okay. So she says, I'm going to have a dress down to here and a slit up to here, and I don't even know if I'm going to come out of there alive. 
and, and loops. We had, they had to that. stop the movie because I didn't understand the joke. I was yeah. like, I don't get it. She's going to get shit-faced and get and, slutty? And get, or She's going to get real slutty, and then she's going to... We, we actually said... We already saw her get, boyfriend. Is she going to get raped to death? Is she going to ask oh her boyfriend God. to rape her to death? What's going on here? What are, you, what are your goals for tonight? I mean, she was dating that big man, but he was such a nice guy. Yeah, he's a very... Hollis. He's very sweet. Oh, yeah. Her boyfriend yes. was this guy, Hollis, and he was, like, the sweetest he was guy. The nice, he was the nicest guy in town. He Let's had a cute. Real. He had a cute little hipster mustache. Yeah. So I don't know why she know would even means. make that joke. I can't imagine <laughs> me being, like, like, going out with you guys and being, like... I can't wait to wear this outfit. I'm going to wear this, and I'm going to wear this, and I hope I die. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I have so much sex that I die. I so much that I die. She's in the right <laughs> town, and her wish could come true. Uh-huh. It yeah, could that's, come true. That's true. That's the irony of that line. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stop thinking about boys. Talk about me and my weird outfit choices. <laughs> <laughs> that she didn't make, in my opinion, yeah, but know. that's fine. We'll get to that. So that's that's the women in this town, basically. Dumb. <laughs> um, so now we're back to the sheriff. Uh, I think he's just known as the sheriff. I never caught a name on him, really, either. Sheriff Jake. Sheriff Jake. Sheriff Jake. All right. Mm-hmm. Sheriff Jake, he goes to find Mabel, and he finds all these, like, all the Valentine's Day decorations, all these, like, paper hearts and, like, cardboard cutout hearts are all turned upside down. Mm-hmm. And he... Takes a second to notice this, but then he like looks around the room and he's like, "Oh my god, they are all upside down." Okay, weird. And then he is standing right next to a very red, a very red dryer. Yeah, <laughs> a very oh red. Dryer. Super obvious. <laughs> like, there was work. blood on the window of this dryer. It's so bad. <laughs> I mean, it's a horror movie. What do of you course. expect yeah. from like the these, force? The force is just. But the foreshadowing did not indicate what was actually going to come out of that dryer either. That was still a surprise. I, I heard that <laughs> we all, dryer we all going squealed. and I was like, mm. We knew. We knew, we knew what I you did expect, not expect, but it to not that. Be that way. No. I was expecting like a, a bloody heart, you know, like. Or her head. Or, her, yeah. or something. Or oh her whole God. body or whatever, but. Well, what we found was Mabel's entire body busts out of the dryer and it is just singed, just ugh. melted flesh. Yeah. Ugh. And oh, it that's was... the part I didn't expect. Getting yeah. I was just thinking about it. It's like, yeah. Ugh. I think we, oh, it was or, good. I don't know about y'all, but I did squeal for sure. Yeah. I was like, oh. I did not expect <laughs> her to be that state be of that, yeah. melted. I mean, ugh. good job. Yeah. On, that was on good. like the scare. That was probably the only time in this whole movie that I was actually like a, <laughs> little, a little like, ooh. Because <laughs> it was a surprise for sure. Um, so we're, then we're back down in the mines. All the boys are at work again, and Axel and TJ are still fighting about Sarah because she's clearly the only woman in this town. <laughs> Even though yes. Gretchen is a perfectly lovely woman. Yes. I know. What about Gretchen? Suck it in or zip it up. I know. Fun fact, I was almost named Gretchen. Ooh. Gretchen. That mm-hmm. is interesting. I don't know huh. why. My mom told me that once. She was like, yeah, you were almost named Gretchen. I'm like... Glad you, she glad you didn't. Glad mm, you yeah. didn't do that. <laughs> I kind of like it. Gretchen, mm. Gretchen Craig. Gretchen Craig. Yeah. yeah. No, you're right. That, no, see, that does not right. sound good it together. Sound good. No. Yeah, Rachel's Gretchen's better. Gretchen's a fine name. It just doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't flow with you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so burpy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I keep burping. It's all the blood. <laughs> it's, all the blood. <laughs> it's all the blood. It's all the blood we've been drinking. Blood. <laughs> blood. Um, so, yeah, they're still fighting about Sarah. <laughs> and then we're... Back at the laundromat, this movie did, it had a good pace. It was very like boom, 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 boom. A lot happened in an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It felt like a longer movie because there was so much going on. Yeah. Like I I wasn't ever, I wasn't ever that bored. No. I I got bored every once in a while, but it was, it was still pretty, it's a pretty good paced Mm -hmm. movie in my opinion. Yeah. There were some conversations that went on longer than they needed to. Yes. But fine. (laughs) Yeah. But fine. Um, Anyway, so we're back at the laundromat and the sheriff and the mayor, they're, they, you know, took Mabel's body out and they put like a, they put a red, a big old red sheet over her face. I'm like, okay, that's not what normal people do. But no. maybe in Valentine's Day or Valentine's Bluff, everything, everything is, is red. Everything is red and pink. And, <laughs> and no one is a detective. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> God. But the, the sheriff and the mayor decide that they need to keep these deaths a secret. And they're like, mm. Mabel died of a heart attack. That's, that's Bobby, what you'll tell everybody. That. That ain't a lie. It yeah. was a heart attack. It was a heart. 
She was attacked. Attacked, attacked to the heart. And yeah. her heart was removed. Yeah, yeah. basically. <laughs> Yeah, because then the, the sheriff, as they're covering her body, he's like, wait a minute. And then he sees uh-huh. another little heart note in her chest cavity uh. that they show for like one second. But still, it was a very, it's a very haunting horrifying image. chest yes. cavity. As haunting <laughs> as him reaching in yes. barehanded, barehanded and pulling yep. it no out. No gloves. Yes. No gloves in this town. No. I'm just going to go in barehanded and take out this bloody hey, yoink. paper uh, note. Hey, like, yoink. <laughs> this, time's, this time it says... Um, it happened once. It happened twice. Like, cancel the dancer. It'll happen thrice. Thrice! Uh, <laughs> we were so happy at his usage of thrice. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Someone took the time to write those. I know. <laughs> I love great. it. it Anybody. Great. Somebody. Um, so they decided they need to cancel the Valentine's Day dance. And the kids, teenagers, 30-year-olds... They're not having it. They're like, cancel the dance. No, why? He's like, we just need to cancel the dance. No, no dance, no parties. It's basically Footloose Town. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No dancing, no celebrating, no, no being dancing. happy ever again. <laughs> or at least not on Valentine's Day. Not on Valentine's Day. Any other day, you can party your hearts out, but not on Valentine's 15th. Day. So the kids are not happy about this. And then we're back to Axel and TJ still fighting about Sarah. Get over it, y'all. What um, else is there to talk about? Not even about, that interesting. Though, I mean, yeah. yeah she's she really pretty, but I was like, she's very pretty. But yeah, very so pretty blonde what? hair. <laughs> but that's about it. They're still mm-hmm. fighting about her. Yeah. And then TJ just drives off real quick. And it turns out that he basically. Not kidnapped Sarah, but he like found her and was like, "Come on, get in the car. We're we're going somewhere." And she's like, yeah. "What?" And he's like, "Just just get in the car." <laughs> and so he sort of like stole her away to go to their their spot, mm. I guess, which is like somewhere looking over the water. I yeah. don't know, some but frozen coastal area. Yeah, some very very cold area. It looks like um, weird because yeah, she's like looking out onto the water and she's like, "I remember this spot." <laughs> And then basically he says that he. <laughs> I remember this spot. I remember it's like yeah it's it's the it's yeah the you giant guys have like a three ocean. square mile. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's not I a whole lot of set of town. Town. town in yeah. That this is this is the one area where there's water. So here we are. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, he he tells her that he wants her back and he'd do anything to get her back. And then Sarah cries and then they oh, kiss. She cries and cries. She, she cries. cries and then they kiss. And, cries. and it's so sad. And then we cut back to, we're back at the bar. And then TJ and Axel have another little encounter. Uh, Axel comes up and TJ walks in and he's like, where's Sarah? And he's like, mm, and gives him like a coy, like mm, smile or nod or whatever he says. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't remember what he says. I don't remember what oh, he says, he but he says something like, like. He was like, it's not my time or my night to look after her. And then like winks and walks away. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I was like, fuck off. Like, <laughs> what a fuck jerk. Fuck both of y'all. Fuck both of them, to be honest. Like, Get uh, over yourselves. You're adults, uh, I think, maybe. Also, Toxic she's probably also an adult. Seriously. Yeah. So like. It's not my night to babysit Y'all her. left uh. her to walk home. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, alone. Alone that's the thing. from the coast. Yeah, the very next shot is Sarah walking home alone. Yeah. And, of course, the music is swelling, and I'm like, oh, God, she's gonna, she's about to die. She's about to die right now. And then a flashlight goes in her face, and you think that it's uh, Harry, Harry Warden, <laughs> right? Yeah, Harry Warden, because right. he has a, he has one of those mining, like, headlamps on his mask oh, yeah. or whatever. But then turns out it's just the sheriff. And he's just very aggressively shining a light in her face. Sarah, what Sarah, are you doing out here? Sarah, what are you doing out here? It's like, oh, yeah, because that's how you Except approach. more Canadian. That's how you approach mm-hmm. people. <laughs> what are you doing what out are you here? Doing? <laughs> and she's like, oh, I'm not doing. And then she's like glad to see him. She's like, oh, hi. Thanks for shining that light in my face really oh, hard. I'm oh, hi. But then, yeah, and she, he's like, oh, I'm just doing my nightly rounds. Because there's one, there's there's one dude that gets to do all of that in this town, and it's that's the it. sheriff. That's the sheriff. No other help. Nothing. No. <laughs> Why? Um. So she goes home. Everything's fine. She's good. Sheriff keeps on doing his rounds, I guess. And then we're back at the bar, and the bartender Dave, he's very aware. What's up? He's like, yeah, like there's there's deaths. Mabel died. 
and you're not fooling me, heart attack bullshit. Like, I know exactly what's happening. Heart attack my eye. Right? <laughs> heart attack my eye. <laughs> um, so all of the kids, they're at the bar, they're hanging out, and they're like, you know what? Let's have our own party. Let's have a party at the mine. Oh. I'm like, party at the worst mine? Worst idea the ever. And, like, we all noticed, you know, there's this great bar that they hang out all the time. Just have the party there. You go there literally every night. Like They have a party. They have a uh, whole, they have this huge the drinking night every night. There were two rules. No Valentine's Day dance. No parties, no parties. on Valentine's Day. Yeah. But the bar is open. The bar is open. So just keep drinking go there. Go to the just bar. be Where at the bar. Where it's safe. Yeah. With Dave. Yeah. Dave. Well, Smart. Dave wasn't at the bar. Smart Dave. Oh, yeah. That's true. Um, so yeah, the bartender, Dave, warns them again when they're like, we're having a party at the mine. And he's like, okay, I'm lit- guys, I'm seriously warning you, you will die if you do this. And they're like, mine party, woo! <laughs> mine party! And they do whatever they want, of course, kids because they're stupid kids. Out. Yeah. So. About going to the mine. Dave. Kid adults. Uh, is super mad at these stupid kids. I would be too. So he's like, I'll show them. I'll I'll do something. They'll never have a party in this town ever again. So he decides to, well, he gets super drunk first. He He's, like, clearly been drinking all night. He still has the whiskey bottle with him. Yeah. So he breaks into the mine, and he he's dressed as a miner himself. And then he has, like, set up, like, a, a Harry Warden dummy, basically, to be at the mine where they are whenever they have their party to, like, come at them, I guess. It's like this big dummy that he sets up, and he's like, ha, 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 that'll show them. That'll scare their britches off just right. Ha, ha, ha. And then, of course, so he, like, opens the door a couple times to make sure that his prank works, and then the third time that he opens it, guess what? It's the real Harry Warden, and he kills him. I'm like, come on, man. Dave Which, was on your side. Yeah. yeah, that's the moment when I was like, there aren't actually rules to this Harry Warden thing because his gig is that he hates Valentine's Day. Yeah. But Dave went out of his way to scare the crap out of the kids, mm-hmm. and yeah. he still got got. Yeah. He, so he was it's like, no he's like, everyone stop no doing all of this. And he's like, well, he gets killed anyway. It's just and then, that easy. I, one of my notes is the sheriff is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> the sheriff is terrible because he because as Dave is getting murdered in like five feet away, the sheriff pulls up and just like checks the lock on the gate. He just kind of shakes it a little bit, a little bit. He's like, "Yep, seems good." <laughs> All right, and then drives away. <laughs> good the luck. Work in this town. No one is could possibly. Incredible. No one could possibly climb over the fence or have any other <laughs> point of entry. This is good. This Locked. is good. We're good. We're All good. Right. <laughs> whatever mess um so now we cut to saturday february the 14th it is officially uh-huh. valentine's day and the kids have this big party at the mine thankfully we figured out that it is not inside the mine shaft it's in like the break room like the big rec room break room that's on the mine i like, was very yeah, relieved the main uh, yeah. i was like okay level. yeah good yeah i was because i was like are you Fucking kidding go me! Down you're there. going to the into the mine shaft, and you're gonna have a dr- drinking. That no. does sounds it's a not okay. Idea. But thankfully, yeah, there's this big rec room. I guess that's like their break room. There's a bunch of tables. There's a kitchen. There's a pool table, a, a pinball machine. I'm like, okay, yeah. yeah, that seems fine. You guys can totally have a it's party a pretty there. Pretty sweet yeah. rec room, actually. Yeah, yeah, maybe there is some money in in mining. I guess. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Han- 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 Haniger. Haniger. Yeah, yeah. He got money. I yeah. forgot it already. I want to say Han again, but no. Um, so we're back at the sheriff's office, and there there is another police officer there that we've never seen before. <laughs> Deputy Dan over Deputy there. Deputy Dan. <laughs> but he's like, oh, sheriff, there's a, there's a box of something left for you over there. And he Oy. looks over, and it's a heart box, and he's like, oh, no. And he slowly opens it, and this time... It's just chocolate. <laughs> he's like, oh, oh, thank God, it's just chocolate. And then he opens the card, and it says, be my Valentine, love Mabel. Yeah, so, that was sad. So now I they'll think, never be in love. 
I wasn't sure if it was actually from Mabel or if it was just Harry fucking yeah, with him. I think she was she was definitely like crushing on him because there was a part where like before they were going into the dance where she was like looking at him all like Aww. big old eyes and stuff. And then when she opened her own back, she was like, it's from Jake. I'm glad you noticed that because when I saw her looking at him earlier, I was like, is this girl crazy? I mean, or who is she? She might be. But no, she was definitely like schoolgirl question, like, hello, <clears throat> Sheriff Jake. Aww. Last name, you know. It was, Sheriff Jake last name. Sheriff Jake kind of cute. Last name. It's actually She's pronounced Lasnama. Lasnama. <laughs> oh, man. All it's right, French. so. Canadian. French Canadian. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> So we cut back to the party, and everyone is having just a fucking great time. It's like it's oh, probably man. the best party I've ever seen. Patty is not wearing a slutty dress. It was perfectly respectable. Yeah, it was, per- it was a nice. It was a nice. It was red a nice dress. Wrap dress, and I was like, yeah, I it went that. down it to cute. her knees because it's cold out. See, yeah, <laughs> that's why I didn't realize that it was her. I guess because well, also her hair was different. Yeah, but then like the dress was fine. Yeah, and it, it was. Whatever. <laughs> there were zero slutty moments yeah. on any of their parts. There no. wasn't, yeah, there wasn't a single girl who looked. A lot of sweaters, looked... a lot of flannel. Yeah. Because it's February, it's, it's probably fucking cold. It's cold so as hell. Cold. Yeah. And north of here. So yeah. even colder. Ugh, huh. <laughs> Ugh. I know. I always, side note, I always get mad in movies where it's Valentine's Day and it's warm. You know, yeah, screw yeah. you, Southern California. They're like out, yeah. yeah. They're like out walking in like Fuck you, LA. the mountains and in shorts Just and kidding, like, oh, it's LA. Valentine's Day. I'm like, okay, come on, where are you? <laughs> anyway, back to the movie. Canada. I just want to point Canada. that out. <laughs> I don't like when they have Valentine's Day in a warm climate. <laughs> it's, it's not, not real to my reality. <laughs> it's not relatable. It's not, it's not relatable. Too snow on the ground. <laughs> there, y'all, there's so much snow on the ground. Oh, right now. It's killing die. me. I want to die. Okay. <laughs> So, the kids are having a great time, and then there's this one, like, young, like, younger dude, and I even said, I was like, wait, is that guy, like, a real teenager? Because he looks very young. And then they proceed to call him Babyface, I guess. So he's the youngest. Baby John. Baby John. (laughs) So he's the youngest of the, the bunch, and then he goes into the kitchen, and he, there's, like, a pot of hot dogs. (laughs) (laughs) we're all about to throw up (laughs) there's a big old pot of hot dogs boiling first of all don't boil hot dogs just don't just yeah you can just microwave them or grill them it's fine put them in the toaster oven put them on a skillet do not boil them anyway yeah ugh horrible (laughs) also gross I just want to point out these this giant pot of boiling hot dogs were not attended there was nobody in the kitchen when he went in there to to tend to them, so I guess they're just gonna leave an open flame unattended with all of these drunk assholes. Yeah. Listen, these kids are not. They are reckless. They're clearly they're not very responsible. Reckless. Anyway, they're responsible. So this giant pot of hot dogs, and he goes in to stir it, and then, boom, there's Harry, and he puts young kid's face in the boiling water, and I, we were all like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> As if Ugh. the already gray boiled hot dogs weren't gross enough. Ugh, now now this kid's face is in it. Face in rough. It. I will never eat a boiled hot dog. Ugh. I mean, I don't. Eat I really, don't anyway. There was a bar in our college town, Dirty Jim's, that like in the back. <gasps> yeah. Would just have like a crock pot full of hot dogs. Oh, what? For free. Yeah, you know that? No. Like in the back. Like a crock pot of water? Yeah. Or just the crock Just like pot. a crock pot like of water with hot dogs in it. Oh. Come yeah. on. Yeah. I mean, I went there to drink, but I sure as hell never, yeah. I never got food there. No, I mean, they didn't have, I don't think they, they had like bar food, <coughs> I guess. I never bought food there because like I didn't want to die. But yep. um, JK, I love you, Dirty Gems, my favorite bar in the world. It actually was called Gentleman Gems, but we yeah. called it Dirty oh. Gems it dirty because gyms it was and dirty. And clean gems because Dirty Gems had like no ventilation. All the windows had like flags over them and you could smoke inside because it's Tennessee. And mm-hmm. um, that's kind of where like the vagrants went. I don't yeah. know. It was like the cooler. Yeah. The and then, like, clean gems yep. had like um, air. And, and uh, you know, air, you know, and, like, lighting, and that's where all the like bros were. They swept were, the so we floor. Didn't go there. Yeah, you know, that was gentlemen gyms, clean gyms. So there's two gentlemen gyms. They're, they're both. Dirty. Oh, they're both they were gentlemen both gentlemen gyms. gyms. They're, they're just, just a franchise. Clean and dirty. The clean was the bright one with air and um, like bros. frat bros, and yeah. then the dirty one was the one we went to with water hot dogs. And I'll now I'm just thinking Look. like whose face has been in there? Uh, uh, uh. Whose face has been in these hot dogs? Anything has been in there, right? Uh, oh, yeah. God. That that bar. Oh man, Murfreesboro, Tennessee, y'all. We. What a place. You've never Get heard it. of it. Don't worry. <laughs> Look it up right now. Yeah. Go to Dirty Gyms. 
Oh boy. <laughs> Maybe it might not even be there anymore. It's still, last time I was there, it was still there. Oh, it and is I, still there. I drove by and I was like, I used to go there every day. I know. Like, it How is... long ago was that? Um, last time I was down there was I don't know, like a year or two ago. Oh, okay. so it's still there. Hopefully, it could still be there. It's still kicking. I hope. Yeah. I hope the legacy of the Dirty Gems. If it's a forever. chain, it's probably still there. I hope so. College. Woo. Mm. Maybe nicer than it was. I did most of my no, drinking never. in <laughs> dorm rooms. Hell and yeah. in, and most in apartments. Yeah. Not yep. in mines. Not in mines. Not in that's mines, for sure. Jack. Not in mines. Uh. Because you're not an idiot. <laughs> like, yes. So, so there wasn't one. So also maybe that. we would have. That's true. I highly doubt I'd like that. to think that you guys are better than that. I would I hope would like so. To think that as well. I mean, you know, I, I was a mostly responsible drinker in college, so. I made it out alive and... Didn't go to a mine. Did not go to also, a mine. Also, those people were also especially stupid. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. For oh, doing it. Okay. <laughs> Just gets worse. Just gets worse. Um. So the sheriff... So, okay, yeah. So the kid gets killed in the hot dogs. Gross. <laughs> the, now we cut back to the sheriff. He goes outside of his precinct and he finds a bunch of stray dogs surrounding another heart box. But this time the heart box is covered in blood. And it's just bleeding like crazy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a bunch of real rowdy dogs. Real too. rowdy dogs. <laughs> that was Man. my favorite part. They were like, rah, 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 rah. And he's like, get out of here. Get out of here, dogs. Get out of here. And they're like lunging at him and it pulling so back. Funny. I'm like, these the are so funny. insane. It's the most aggressive dogs I've ever seen. I'm like, are you sure they're not coyotes? <laughs> Earlier in the movie, there was also a dog that ran yes. out of nowhere they while Sheriff nowhere, or while the mayor. Hit it. Yeah, the, the mayor and sheriff were pulling away from a scene, and a dog went chasing after him and about rolled itself under the car. I know. I, I want to say that that was not planned. No. That was no. probably a real dog that ran out of nowhere. I was not prepared to see a dog die oh in my this God. movie. No. So I'm glad that that's not Some pet happen. cemetery oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, I did not no. sign up for this movie today. It's too <laughs> much. That's next That's next month, y'all. The dog oh, no. was fine, but... I've never seen Pet Cemetery. I don't think I should. It's It's pretty sad. Okay. It's very sad. I love my The dog. death of the little boy nearly killed me, so I'm um, not, I don't spoilers. like it. It's fine. Anyway. You don't. Yeah, it didn't be sad it. because <laughs> kids are not the same to me as my sweet baby pets. <laughs> well, I mean, I it's the kids, pets, yeah. it's sure. the pets too, but like normally I don't care about the kids that much because I'm like, oh, they're all actors, you know, whatever. <laughs> they're yeah. all still alive. But fine. I don't know. This little boy in Pet Cemetery is just, the, he's just the cutest little boy I've ever mm-hmm. seen. And I'm just Pretty like, sad. oh. It's so okay. sad. Anyway. I'll prepare myself if I ever do yep. watch it. I mean, you know, to. he comes back all <laughs> evil. If so. it's the end of the world and you have two movies to watch <laughs> and one of them is Pet <laughs> Cemetery, <laughs> watch the, the other, other one, one first. Do you think? Oh, yeah. God, I hope it's Wait. something stupid like Hitch. <laughs> uh, I would watch Hitch. I saw that in theaters, man. 13 Old Me was like, yes, this is the high yeah. You have Hitch and Pet Cemetery. Get to it okay. second. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> Get to it second. Oh, man. All right. Oh, by the way, and the, the bloody heart box is, you know, he doesn't even open it. He's like, Ugh, I'm not I don't, I'm not looking forward to seeing a gross bloody heart again. So, but he does he does open the note and it says, you didn't stop the party. Oh, my God. He's like, ugh. I he's like, where line. is it? Where is the party? But yeah, because he didn't know that there was a party, the party going on. It was always until the <laughs> But yeah, he doesn't know that there is a party going on because no. the kids are fucking sneaky. Yeah. Are and they? Are I they, mean, they just, no, but yeah. the adults are just stupid. Yeah. yeah. And they're just not like paying attention. It's like they're following these kids around or anything. Which and also someone I mean, yeah. should be. Yes. But I also yeah. think he'd be like, I wonder if they're partying at the mine. You know, like. <laughs> I mean, there's uh, about 40 young adults in this town and they're all insane. So I feel yeah. like we should keep tabs on yeah, them. Yeah, that's that's true. I mean, drinking Someone should. every Every night, like, yeah. ugh, too much, y'all. Mm. Get, get a, get a hobby. <laughs> get a life. Get a life. <laughs> Losers. I mean, again, be hard in Valentine's Bluff. Move away, because <laughs> there yeah. ain't nothing else DJ to do. DJ had the drink. right idea, man. But he didn't stay gone for long. I did not. He just loves Sarah so much, <laughs> and he's the heir to and the I love Lisa mining so much. fortune. And I, I love Lisa so much. <laughs> <laughs> Where is Sarah, y'all? <laughs> Speaking of <laughs> Axel and Sarah and TJ and all of them, we cut back to the party and Axel and Sarah are fighting and then TJ says that he wants to be with him. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was TJ like, says, I missed that. 
<laughs> missed that part. Huge plot twist. <laughs> that would be Whoa. amazing. Axel's actually in love with TJ. Oh no. God. Oh my God. That would have been great. That would have been amazing. Instead, Might have it's saved just the this movie. typical, typical storyline. Okay, yeah. I see my writing now. Mm-hmm. TJ says that Sarah really wants to be with him. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He's like, come on, man. Mm-hmm. Sarah wants to be with me. She doesn't like you anymore. So Axel punches TJ in the face. Sarah, and then, like, snaps. She's like, I don't want to be with anybody. I hate all of you. Yeah, this is the first time that she actually speaks up for herself. She's like, I have a mouth of my own, you know. I'm like, oh, why didn't you say yeah. that ages ago? You said it, like, an hour and a half ago. <laughs> Like, yeah, you do have a voice, so, like, do something so, like, about these it. idiots. Ugh. Anyway, so, she likes TJ, <laughs> she does. She likes she to does. have boys fight over her. Yeah. So, TJ and Axel fight for a while. They get in this huge fight, and then Axel runs out alone, and he, he really does start crying <laughs> over Sarah. Mm. At least he's not crying around his bros. Can't let, can't let any of your bros see you cry. I don't know. They seem so nice. Hollis I mean, would have been like, yeah. are you okay doing like, Hollis okay, seems man? nice. Yeah. Howard, not so much. Howard, the not tall, so much. The tall giant, the redheaded giant. That guy's name was John. Oh, yeah. He John. Seemed okay. yeah. He seemed all he, right. I feel like he would have been like, you okay, dude? Yeah. Yeah. It's, like, it's all right, man. We're about to talk about John, actually. Uh, oh, good. Because. John uh, the giant. John and Sylvia, and they, it's, it's kind of cute. There's this guy, John, who's like. I don't know, like six five, maybe. He's yeah. super, super tall, yeah. and then he's dating this girl named Sylvia, who's very teeny weeny tiny. She's a wee woman. It's always like that. I feel like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. In these situations, the couple that you want to succeed and live <laughs> through the movie is like, like the giant cute. and the tiny. Yeah, yeah. The giant and Except the tiny. Except that it kind of freaked me out when they first saw each other in the union hall, and he picked her up by her her face, what by her head, her whole head. He like he lifted like, her. Hey, honey. Yeah. So I'd like to think that she pulled herself up on his giant arms, but that's not how the shot looked. No. Yeah. Yeah. It looked like he a just picked her up by shot. her head and then gave her a spinal fracture, probably. <laughs> <laughs> pulled her little head off. Pulled her little head off. <laughs> well, whatever. Anyway, so she lived. Giant John and little Sylvia, which doesn't sound right anymore. Short nope. Sylvia. They go off to have some alone <laughs> Petite time. Alone time. So we cut to them, and they're making out in it's just somewhere in the mine, somewhere where they keep all of the all of the, the laundry, shower, and, and like the showers, and yeah, super romantic. Yeah, <laughs> so cute. Um, so they're making out, and then she's like, "Do you know what'll make this better?" And then he like whips out a condom, and he's like, "Yes," <laughs> and she's like, "No, silly, some more beer." <laughs> so proud of him for having that condom. I know. I'm proud of her for. Kind of saying no in that moment. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, in, in the 80s, we got to take what we got. Hey, yep. yeah, that's true. <laughs> in 2018, we got to take what we got. Oh, boy. Also true. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so he leaves to go get more beer, leaving her alone, which is not a good thing to do in these types in of mine? movies. In a mine? mine? Don't kind know. of in general? Yeah. Like, in oh, it's horrible. Like, wherever they are, it's like the darkest like scariest place to yeah. go make out. <laughs> yeah. Everywhere they go is the darkest, scariest place and all they want to do is make out. Like horny teenagers. Yeah, but of course. they're not teenagers. They're older. <laughs> That's weird. They're like they're they're adults. I mean, they've gotta be at least eighteen. I don't know how old you were allowed to be in a bar in the eighties, but I don't know. <laughs> they've yeah, gotta be at least question. eighteen, if not older. Yeah. Um because I know in the seventies you were allowed to drink beer at eighteen. But I don't know if you yeah. go into bars at 18. Hmm. I'm not sure. That's interesting. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway. Probably. So now we cut to, we're back at the party. And the boiled, <laughs> we're back we're, we're back to two women stirring the boiled hot dogs Ugh. like nothing happened. Ugh. Like it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. And then. But it's not. But it's, but not, it's fine. not fine. It's not um, fine. So, oh yeah. So John shows up and he's like, hey, I get more beer, blah, blah, blah. And then they're like, okay, cool. And then they pull out a boiled heart of probably that teenage boy (laughs) that we saw get killed. Yeah, Yeah, definitely. Baby John. Yeah, baby Baby John. John. (laughs) Baby John. Well, but do they? His head was in the fridge. His whole body was in the fridge. I only saw the head, but I believe the head. Well, yeah. So John opens the fridge, but then he's like looking the other direction at the ladies. 
And so he he doesn't see this like bloody like pussy uh, face how? in the fridge how? while he like grabs a beer and then he Melty. closes it and yep yeah, nobody uh. nobody notices at all. But I wasn't sure if the women noticed the heart that they had. They did <laughs> the human but they, heart. Kind of like oh what is this? Howard Weird. played a joke on us. Uh-huh. And then he just like put it away. Oh. Fucking she just, Howard. Like, yeah, dropped it off to so the side. Like, oh, that's so gross. Howard's such a dick. <laughs> it was also gray, which just it was proves my gray. point about boiling meat. Do not boil Don't. meat. It just It'll makes it gray and gross. Stop boiling meat, everybody. Ugh, it's God. weird. Who? Ugh. I mean, I think that was that was like a diet thing to do in the 80s was to boil like chicken. Oh, really? Ugh. Yeah, it was. You eat, your, you eat your grapefruit. And you mm-hmm. eat your cottage cheese, and, and you eat your boiled ass your chicken. boiled piece of chicken. Ew! This Which is I the bet 80s. was also gray oh, God. somehow. Yeah, it was all gray. That's Ugh. all boiling does to me. <laughs> Gross. Ugh. So yeah, so nobody nobody notices his fucking his, disgusting his face head, yeah. in the freezer. Awful. <laughs> and so now we're back. It's so bad. So bad. <laughs> so now we're back to Sylvia alone, and she keeps hearing all these horrible noises and. The showers are getting turned on, and she gets up and she's like, "John." <laughs> I'm like, "No, girl. no, no it's girl. never John. <laughs> it's, it's never, never going to be John. It's never going to be John. <laughs> Just run out of there." Yeah, I would never wait to see who no. it was. I would I get that. I'd be like, out. "Bye." Mm-mm-mm. Absolutely not. But yeah, and then all of the mining uniforms start falling on her, and she's like, "This is." The part that I hate because it happens in every or hate and also love because it happens in every old horror movie. Yeah. Where the the woman's just like screaming all crazy and she grabs her hair. She's always grabbing her hair and like putting her fingers through her hair. <laughs> like, it's like ah, madness. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> yeah. ah. So funny. I'm being attacked. Ah. Oh, no, no. <laughs> it's so stupid. And it happens in every old movie. Yeah, it and it's totally in the does. script. It's, yeah. the thing. it's me. I'm like, somebody <laughs> wrote that. <laughs> Uh, it also and then sounds, she grabs her hair and freaks out while clothes fall on her. It also Do sounds like it was recorded like afterwards, like yeah. it was ADR. Yeah. Like they had to dub that scream in. I thought that about Mabel's death also, because sometimes the mouth was off a little yeah. bit. So I'm like, either she's really good or the editors are really yeah. not. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so after all these mine these the mining uniforms fall on her, at the end, the dead bartender, Dave ends up falling on her. He's on like a couple of hooks. I think he's on a couple of hooks or something. And yeah, he just like, like shows up. Flops down. Flops down. And she's like, of course. And then here comes Harry. And he does what what you said earlier, just picks her up by her head. And just just picks her up. Oh man. And And jams it on a shower. Jams it onto uh, the shower. She was... screams. Well, I don't think we actually see her death do. You no. see him like jam her onto something in the shower yeah. room. That's about it. I don't it. know what it is until. I just kind of assumed before it was the shower. Yeah. Because that, that's the only that's pointy thing too. in there. <laughs> yeah. But you're right. They don't show any more than that. And then John finally comes back. And he even says, like, sorry it took me so long, baby. <laughs> oh, God. I love this part. He's, like, jingling the beer he's cans like, like yeah, she's he's a like, cat. Yeah. <laughs> so come funny. Out, come out wherever you want. Want some oh, treats. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, but then he finds uh, – does he find her or does he find the uh, Dave? He finds Dead. her because finds... he hears the shower going and he's like, all right. Oh, all, all right. right. All right. All right. He's like so <laughs> Starting to disrobe yeah, as he walks so into the showers. Like, all right. Oh, all right, all right. All he can right. say is all right. And then he gets in there. You're not Matthew yeah. McConaughey. No. Uh, but yeah, he's, it's like her and like the water's like coming out of like her mouth because he like. Okay. Yeah. Put her up on the Jammed shower. Jammed her head Jammed into her the, the shower. shower. Yeah. That would take a lot of force, man. Yeah. To put a whole shower head and to, That's like some to make Jason it Voorhees pierce you. Yeah, some, some strength. Whew. I mean, I know they were skinny little shower heads, but still. Yeah. Also, she's a teeny weenie. She's also very teeny. Like, people keep picking her up by her face. Yeah. So, so she baby. weighs about, you know, like a buck five. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Poor baby. So now, let's see. It's it's Patty 
which is Sarah's friend, who wants to cheer Sarah up by doing something fun and kooky at the party. <laughs> mm-hmm. So she's oh, like, Patty, you're so kooky. <laughs> and Ho- Hollis is her boyfriend, right? The cool, yeah. the, the one that the we stash. actually like. The nice one who looks kind of like a murderer, child molester. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, he doesn't have the best look about him, but he's so nice. But he's a nice guy. <laughs> he's yeah. A nice guy. You know what? He actually kind of looks like Haley Joe Osment. A little oh, bit. Oh, like now? Wow. Like now. Yeah. Hey, Joel, For real? Like now. now. I have not seen what he looks like. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Haley's pulling up a picture. If you're He's... at home, you may also... Pull up a picture. <laughs> if you have not seen him for, recently, for the like listeners, me. look up Haley Joe Osment now. Oh man, nine year old Haley, right me. now. I was like, I love. Oh yeah, I y'all be, share his. Y'all we share, share initials, and I was like, oh, nine year old me. I was like, oh, Haley Joe Osment is so cute, and we have the same he initials. Is. We're gonna get married. He's very. He was very cute. He's the cutest little kid. I also was in love with Jonathan Taylor Thomas. He can still call me. Interesting. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Really not good. not quite as bad as no. Hollis. No, Hollis no. was a little more extreme. But I can see what you mean. Like, if you toss the glasses and the creepy stash on there. I'm just saying, if oh, yeah, they made. he's on Silicon Valley now. I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. And he's so... great on Silicon Valley. Yeah, he just kind of looks like a chubby mountain man now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm saying. Unless, like, a chubby if they, if they wanted to do minor. <laughs> My Bloody Valentine today, they could cast Taylor Joe Osment as <laughs> Hollis, and it'd be great. Yeah. He could totally play him. <laughs> that was a missed opportunity in 2009, I feel like. Yeah. 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 But maybe that character doesn't exist. We don't know. We haven't seen it. That'd oh, yeah. Good. There is a remake. There's a 2009 version. And uh, we, none of I, us have seen it. None of us have seen it. I didn't want to watch yeah. that one because the 80s one sounded more fun. And you're probably <laughs> and right. <it> was. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah. So Patty um, decides that she wants to do something fun to cheer Sarah up. So she says, Hey, let's all go down to the mine. Let's take a 2,000 foot dip into the mine. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> And so there's so like, stupid. I don't know, like six of them, like Howard, of course. Of course. And then a couple Psycho. of other randos yeah, who we haven't been introduced to yet. Um, but yeah. yeah. Who the heck were those two? Oh, just, just I think they've just been like, in the people. movie, but they just never really two like. Two geeks on the back of this yeah. train right. now. <laughs> just more people. They're more there people. to carry the beer. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So the leading actors are not yep. encumbered exactly. by it. <laughs> so we have... We have two of the randos, and then we have Hollis, Patty, Sarah, and Howard all going down into the mine, mm-hmm. I think. And then, yeah, TJ sees all of them running out, and he says, you guys can't go down there. And I'm thinking, oh, because it's dangerous. Mm-hmm. And then he goes, you know the rules. No women allowed in the mine. <laughs> I'm oh. like, wait, no women oh. allowed? What does that mean? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think we know what that means. I mean, oh, yeah. fuck I know yourself, what it means. TJ. I love that Patty was like, "I heard it's like a roller coaster." Like, Girl. It's totally what a like demon a roller, roller coaster. coasters y'all got over there, oh, with no safety restraints no. and death all around you, Just, oh and collapsed lung and or no black lung, black, black lung, lung. Yeah. dust everywhere. Ugh. Uh, that Patty, so, that Patty. Of course, she's devil. kooky. They don't she's listen. Kooky. She's very kooky. <laughs> <laughs> they don't listen to him. Of course, they go anyway because fuck him. Yeah. <laughs> um. So then now there's like a. The, it really is sort of like a roller coaster shot. There's like a POV shot of them. They all get into the the train cars and they go down the mine shaft. And it's it's not really that big of a deal. It's like they go down one hill and they're like, okay, everyone, get out. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a slow decline. Yeah. A couple thousand feet. They don't even down. go that fast. It's just like, k- 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 okay, we're here. Get out. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> and then I think Hollis says something like, we'll go back up and, and we'll do it again. <laughs> I'm like, okay. okay. No. <laughs> I think the night has ended, y'all. Let's maybe go home. <laughs> I think you equated it to the Snow White ride. Yeah. So there's no, a Snow yeah. White ride at Disney World. But that ride's good, though. But that ride is actually... The that new one scared the crap out of me. It, it start, like you get in, and I I'm not a big roller coaster person because I'm deathly afraid of heights. But it's not. Oh it's an no, you it's are all, Will. You and Will are the same we're very, person. We're very similar. <laughs> um, but yeah, so like I I was like, oh, but it's, it's indoors, so it's not like that bad. Right. But you get in and you strap in, and immediately you're like plunging down. And I was like, Whoop. oh shit, this is a and kids then it, ride. And like, shoots you off down it's different so mine fast. shafts. It's and a at great the ride. end, I remember my dad and I were in front because at the end it yeah. was the Wicked Witch, and that's when I was like, uh, nope. Uh, <laughs> that ride is amazing. I was like, that was probably my favorite ride at Disney World that I was able to go on because I think Big Thunder Mountain. 
that hard. I was like, okay, that's not that high. I could probably do that. Right. But it was Oh, closed. yeah, we wrote that one. But it was that, closed. Those two I made him go on that so one. So that's about all you get. I did not go on teacups. Did not. Teacups I, I could talk about Disney up. World forever. So. But yeah, so it reminded me of that because she was like, yeah, it's like a roller coaster. And then I was like, oh, is it? Is it? Is, is it? Is it though? It's one hill. It's like a really so sad, sad you know, kiddo coaster. That, but what else are they going to do in Valentine's On the pier well, right? or something. No, no. <laughs> Ain't nothing else to do but drink and go down mine shafts. Go down the oh. mine shaft coaster. I would have <laughs> shot myself in the head. <laughs> I could not right. do that. Oh like. my God. <laughs> no. Jesus. No offense to anybody living in a small town. Like right. that, but I don't think... Or a mining town mining specifically town, you know, in 1981. In 1981. Sorry. But I can't. But I would have covered myself in no. Valentine's Day hearts and danced down the street. I would have at least moved to, the, <laughs> to Centerville, which was like where the doctor was. I'd at least move there. Yeah. I'm oh, sure yeah. they've got Get like a there. movie theater. Let's just move to like, like the next... movie theater or something the that I could do. The bigger town. I don't yeah. have to Anywhere move totally else. away, but... It doesn't listen, have to be if LA. If there's not a Target, right? I'm not living there, Okay. <laughs> That is a There's true. There's not a grocery store. There's not a grocery store. That's that a true statement. Great, yeah. I do judge towns by if they have a Target. Yeah. If they have a Target, it's okay. If it's I a cannot good buy toiletries, yeah, toiletries I will are not live very there. Yeah. 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 That's sort of like the town that I did um, that theme park gig that I oh, worked yeah. at for a while, mm-hmm. Tweetsie. Tweetsie. It had Walmart? it had a Walmart. It at had Walmart. one Walmart. Walmart. And I'm Fine. like, and that's. That's where I did all my shopping because I was like, John lives in, um, his family lives in a town that has a Walmart and oh had boy. a Kmart, but it closed. Oh man! But I'm they have a bar like the, one Walmart like the mining, town. like bar. They have they like got one, one bar, bar that everybody goes to, mm-hmm. and it's like, and it's like, like hey, Walmart Earl. indicates like a parking lot. True. Therefore, you would need True. to have enough people to put in a parking lot or a Walmart. And yeah. this town didn't even seem to <laughs> have even more than have fifty that. people. No. <laughs> Man. We met them all. That's oh why they got to go on a mine roller coaster. Mine roller coaster. Get their jollies on yeah. a mine coaster. Yep. Well, after they go down this one hill, they all get out and they just decide to go walk around the mine, which Take again a tour. is not ever okay. No. no. What is wrong with all of you? Um, They're drunk. Yeah. But yeah. But then the two, the two random kids that we have not really been introduced yet, they hang back and they're like, "Hey, uh." We're gonna, you know, and they like nudge, oh wink, wink, nudge, nudge, <laughs> say no more. Like we're gonna, you know, go, go. We'll, we'll, we're gonna we'll, go fuck. We'll, we'll catch you guys later. <laughs> we'll meet you in ten minutes at the main shaft. Everyone Ba-doom. is fucking in the mines in this movie. And there's I'm like, a lot of fucking you guys, in the mines. Why? But also none. <laughs> but also, <laughs> it's, but also yeah. it's just a bunch just of making out. It's just a bunch of implied fucking. fucking. Yeah. Rated it off or implied fucking. <laughs> yeah, there ain't no actual fucking going no, on. No, there certainly is not. There's that was, just that was real country, what I just said. Yeah. There ain't no actual fucking. There ain't no fucking. damn fucking. <laughs> they ain't fucking at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, because every time that they show them, they're always just like making out. I'm like, all right, well, you're. You're alone. You have a condom in your pocket, apparently. Yeah. So just but all they want to do is like kiss each other gingerly, yeah. right? Uh, I mean, like I, I guarantee you, this in the so 2009 funny. version, they go crazy. I'm sure. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> um. Anyway, so let's see. So John busts into the party. John, the the tall, the tall drink of water. Tall ginger John. John, John busts into the party and tells everyone that Dave the bartender is dead. And I guess that Sylvie is dead, too. I mean, I, yeah. I only heard him say that Dave was dead. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so then, finally, everyone starts freaking out. Finally. After, yeah. after like... Took you long enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, so then, Dave's dead. Who's going to pour our alcohol? Oh ah! <laughs> I guess it's a free-for-all. <laughs> um, so then Axel and TJ decide to go save the others that are down in the mine. Like, we got to go get them out. Because they don't know. Because <laughs> they don't know. They're all trapped down there now. Trapped right? down there. Dummies. Yeah, so Sarah and the others are, like, <sighs> way deep in the mine now. They're, like, very much down several shafts and just, well, they're, they're, they're in trouble. <laughs> you know, it's called a mine shaft. They're down there, you know. <laughs> I know, it's just the fact that they're all, like, screwing each other down there, and they keep saying shaft, and I'm like, yeah. I can't tell what's a metaphor and what's real. <laughs> what's real? <laughs> so conflicted. I'm so conflicted. <laughs> so, here comes Harry again. He's, like, in the background. He's breaking all the light bulbs because he's trying to make it dark so they can't see him, of course. And he's got that giant, he's a really he's got that giant light. Yeah, because yeah, of that it. giant light. I mean, yeah. yeah. But I guess, you know, I mean, it's the same 
trick that cops use if you like shine the light in, in like a drug person's ah. face they're like Ugh, and they can't see anything else so yeah that's i guess true. it kind of yeah. works <laughs> harry's smarter than we thought yeah but so the kids all like hear this ruckus behind them and then they go it's probably just rats yeah. Like, yes. <laughs> Light yes. bulb smashing rats. Light bulb it's smashing rats. rats. It's, it's pretty common. It's always just the, the rats. northeastern part of the world. <laughs> <laughs> so, so John, who is very shaken up, he's crying. He's all snotty. And he, he looked very good for someone who had been crying. Yeah, he did. <laughs> um, he looked very realistic. Yeah, but John and a couple others go into town and they finally go get the sheriff. And they're like, we're having a party. There's death. Harry, it's, he's back. I don't know. They killed Mer. And so <laughs> finally. They killed Mer. They killed Mer. I can't. I mean, he was pretty shaken up. He was very crying. And it, it made me feel kind of sad. I was like, oh, poor baby. Um, so the sheriff finally finds out, like, where the kids are. And he's like, okay, now I can go save everybody or break it up or whatever he's doing. Um, ring the town bell. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ring the bell. To alert the townsfolk. <laughs> Get on the horse. To the and danger. Ring the bell. <laughs> because there's no other. There's the no other is police. Coming. The killer. Is the coming. killer. Ding ding ding. It's here. <laughs> so TJ finally finds Sarah and the others and tells them about Harry killing everyone. And he's like, "All right, we gotta get the fuck out of here." <laughs> and Hollis runs off to go find the others, um, the, the two, the two uh, fucking couples slash oh, yeah. making out couple, which mm. I finally found out that their names are Michael and Harriet. So Michael, that's uh, Harriet. Michael and Harriet. Yeah. Okay. So he's Patty like, and Patty. Patty and Patty, Patty and, and Patty. whatever. Michael, Har- whatever. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> Michael. So Hollis runs off to find Michael and Harriet. And because he's like, oh, my God, they're not with us. We got to go save them. And uh, so he finds them. Already dead with a giant screw in their back, like a big like drill or yes. screw like a or a big metaphor. Yeah. A big metaphor. Because they were screwing. Yeah. They got and screwed. or drilling and each other. Or drilling each other. <laughs> well, I guess drilling just goes one way, but <laughs> well. she was the drill receptacle. <laughs> yeah. And then Hollis turns around and then Harry uh, or yeah, Harry is there. And he shoots him a couple times with a nail gun. Ugh. A nail gun? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ouch. Mm-hmm. That might be the most brutal. That was rough. Yeah. I was very upset because Hollis was the only good one in this town. I know. And All everyone right, else was mostly dead by the time horrible things happened to yeah. their bodies except for except Hollis. For yeah. That was, that was really Yeah. Bad. That was brutal. To get shot in the face first. Yeah. With a yeah, nail gun. Yeah. In the gun. brain. Like right in between the eyes. Ugh. Just, yeah. Ugh. Because that won't kill you right away. No. Yeah. Unfortunately. <laughs> and then, of course, like, somehow, I guess he is alive enough to stumble back to the others, you know. Yeah. Because Hollis does, like, appear to Sarah and TJ and the rest of them. And they're like, Hollis! And then he's like, bleh, and then falls down dead with a giant bloody yeah. nail in his head. Yeah. And R. they're R. like, oh, God. And R. R. Patty R. R. is... Very upset. Poor yes. beside herself. Yeah, Very she's a upset. mess. Oh, and stupid Howard just runs away, leaving everyone to to fend for themselves. Patty and Sarah alone. Yeah, in the shaft. Oh yeah, that's Howard right. TJ's TJ's divorced. not there. It's just it's just the ladies. It's yeah. just Patty and Sarah. I really hate Howard, you guys. <laughs> yeah, I really shit. hate him. He sucks. Yeah, he was just like, oh, we got to run, bye. And they're like, no, we can't leave him. And he's like, he's dead. Fuck him. Get out of here. I mean. He is right. I He's right. Guess. They gotta go. They gotta go. But he should have like, made sure just they were okay. Yes. He should have grabbed them and been like, move, ladies, totally. let's go. Totally. Yeah. And Pick so Patty then, up. She can't weigh that much. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Nobody in this Nobody, town. Nobody none of the women in this town weigh more than 125. Oh so. my god. No. <laughs> so then we see somebody coming that looks like it might be Harry because they have on a full miner's outfit and they're coming and they're coming. But up. Oh, Turns out it's just Axel, so it's fine. Oh yeah, Axel. And they're like, "Oh my God, <laughs> Axel!" We haven't talked about Axel seen in, a him in, a, in a minute. I know. Where's he been this whole time? Um, so he leads the women down the mine. Uh, Sarah and Patty. He leads them down down the mine, and then once again, somebody is coming in a full miner's outfit. So maybe this is Harry. And then up, 
Nope. We found out that it's just TJ. TJ. <laughs> it's just it's TJ. The so two, two false scares in a row. Thanks. My bloody balance. Uh, so at this point, we're like, oh, my God, the killer is Axel. It's Harry. It's TJ. It's Howard. It's Harry. Yeah. Nobody knows. No one knows. Yeah. At this point, we were all pretty convinced that Harry is not the actual killer. Yeah. Right. That it's somebody else. But then every time that we would accuse somebody, they they would the like show up later. And yeah. we're like, oh, well, OK, maybe it's not them. <laughs> That's a scream move right there. Oh, yeah. It's a definite scream move. They they probably stole that from, <laughs> from that. This, um, this movie came first. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Oh, Scream, scream stole, stole it. it. Oh, God. Scream stole so many things. Oh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, because Axel, like, he takes a big old boulder and, like, hits him in the stomach with it. And he's like, jeez, man, it's just me. What, do I look like Harry? It's like. Yeah. Y- yeah, yeah. You Actually, both do. You, you bo- both. You're do. both dressed exactly like him. Yeah. <laughs> Holding pickaxes. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. What are you doing? Hmm. Just saying. Whatever. Anyway, so the sheriff finally arrives at the mine, alone, of course, no help at all. So we're back down to to Axel and TJ and the gang, I guess Sarah and Patty, and they're all climbing up a ladder to the surface. And for some reason, Patty goes berserk. And loses her mind. And she's like, I can't go any further. I can't go any further. I won't. I'm like, just, just, just g- do just it, Patty. Come on, Patty. You're, you're going to the surface. Just do it. I remembered why the sheriff showed up by himself. He was on his way back to the mining camp area. Oh, and yeah. then he got a call from his, the one other cop. Oh, yeah. He oh, was yeah. like, Mrs. Riley called you back from the insane asylum oh, with yeah. information. Yeah. Like, so yeah. instead of like saving the kids and yeah. then figuring it out, he just wheeled around to the nearest telephone. Yep. That's what happened. So stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Why weren't there cell phones back then? God Save damn it. Save the kids first, then talk to Mrs. Riley. Yeah, or just She's like going save anywhere. that on the back burner. <laughs> did we ever find out what she said? Like, did they yes. say it? Yeah, yeah. yeah at the we'll end. get to that. Yeah. <laughs> That's a spoiler. Yeah. That's true. All right. So she refuses to go up the ladder, and so Sarah, like Sarah, like cradles her basically, and decides to climb like directly behind her, and is like, "Okay, if I go up, you go up, okay?" And she's like, "Okay." Okay. It's like, Jesus, Patty, we can't take you anywhere. It's a good no. friend, I guess. <laughs> but. I mean, friend. her poor boyfriend did just die yeah, she's going through in shock. front Horribly. of her. Her body's so. probably like, no, I'm not, I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah. And Sarah's feeling super empowered because both of her boyfriends are there. Yeah, yeah. they're both right there. <laughs> Which fighting is all over she her needs, still. I guess. But Worthless. So then all of a sudden, as they're climbing up the ladder, Howard's body drops down on a rope. And he is all bloody and very dead. And then he so falls bad. down. He falls down I'm even further. Very dead. He's very dead. And he falls down even further in a rope. And I think the rope cuts his head off. Yeah. Huh. Yep. Right? It did, or it, it like blood, squeezes like, his head right off. off. And stuff. Yeah. Which is fine because fuck Howard. I don't like him at all. Nope. No. Yeah. An appropriate death for an obnoxious man. <laughs> right? He can die all he wants. <laughs> as annoying as he wants. So basically, after that, they all climb back down the ladder, which I never understood. I'm like, okay, if that is the exit up there, then just screw him. Just keep going. Just keep going. Ugh, I never yeah. understood that. Um, but anyway, so they all go back down to investigate Howard's body, I guess. And then they decide to exit through the rail cars instead. I don't know why. That's just the plan that they came up with. I'm like, no, let's go. I'm like, oh. Exit, exit right above you. Go. Exit right above you. No, let's go, let's go to the rail cars instead. So they all go to the rail cars. Reverse roller coaster. Reverse roller coaster. <laughs> we, Yay. We're going to go up a hill. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> and somehow TJ and Axel get separated from the girls. I wasn't sure how exactly. Do you remember? It was like uh, Axel was going to go do something. Yeah. And then, oh, no, because they were, they were crossing like a bridge or something Whoa. and Axel was like I'm gonna go you take the girls across I'm gonna do this and then TJ took them across and then there was a bunch and, of water and then he was gone and no, then there, well there was like a bunch of water and he was gonna go like 
do something about that. I yeah. don't. It was not clear. He was like, "You guys he said keep going this but way." I was like, "Why?" I didn't. Know. Yeah, he there like was, pointed them down a mine shaft he was and like, said, "You to guys go that go do way. this." And because yeah, there was like two really fast cut scenes, and then the girls were alone. Yeah, I'm like, "Why are they, why are they keep leaving yeah. these poor they, girls alone?" Yeah, it's not. <laughs> it's not smart. They're not dressed appropriately for the they're mine. Not just, no, they're, they're, they're really wearing party. the highest of heels and dresses, yeah. and and they're both. By the way, they're both just sweaty and and like charcoaly. Yeah, covered and, in soot. And they're yeah, they're blood. like wet and ugh, yeah, they yeah. both look pretty gross at this point. Yeah, yep. I mean everybody does I, that yeah, went no that went down either. into the mine. Everyone's pretty gross at this point. I'm like, yeah. yeah, that's what happens when you go down there. Why would that have been a fun party? Yeah, <laughs> to begin with. Um, no. So they're separate. So then Harry does show up and he kills Patty. Yeah. Poor Patty. She never had a chance. She did not deserve that. And then and Sarah yet it didn't get Sarah to hustle. Yeah. No. I was like Sarah slowly stumbles away, just yeah. like. Might as well just roll over and say, "Take me too," while you're yeah, at it. Right. Like, right. Seriously. <laughs> Yeah, she did not. She just like slowly stumbled away and cried. And I'm like, all right, well, he could he could have just reached out and killed you too. Yeah, yeah. Oh man. So, Friggin cut Sarah. to at last, at long last, more police show up. Finally, however, and the whole it's not. Town. It's not really police. It's just like the rest of the town folk that are actually responsible adults that are not at this party. They got like the Centerville cop. Yeah. 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 Plus the sheriff of Valentine's Bluff. Yep. And then the townsfolk. The sheriff the of Nottingham. Very he's there too. Kill the yep. Beast from... <laughs> they got three sheriffs. It was very and kill, the kill the beast. Kill the beast. <laughs> um, okay, so TJ finds Sarah and they have a bit of a chase with. Uh, I say chase because it was a very slow chase with Harry. Like yeah. he's chasing them, and but then it's it's they're just sort of like slowly like ah, uh, 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 and yeah. <laughs> and then they jump on the rail cars, and they don't really try that hard to fight him. <laughs> it's it's a very lazy it's fight. A very yeah, sloppy yeah. mind fight. Yeah, and then uh, they for some reason like they they knock Harry off of. The rail cars, but then they both jump off of the rail cars as well to keep fighting him. I'm like, what? Why are you doing that? You were in the clear. Yeah. Keep going. Ugh. TJ's trying to fight Harry with a pickaxe, or Harry has a pickaxe, and TJ has like some big flat metal Just thing. Do I don't know. Something he found. Like a like laying a, around. Like one of those. Um. Like a what are they? Sifter. Yeah, something like that. But with a handle on. Yeah. It. And then Sarah's just in the background going, oh, 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 oh. I'm like, girl, do something. You got got free hands. No one's paying attention to you. Hit him. Yeah. God. (laughs) So Gretchen when you need her, really. Right? Right? Seriously. Come on, Gretchen. (laughs) She she never showed back up, did she? She she? (laughs) was with John and the other guy when they found the sheriff. Okay. Well, good for her. She's one of the people that went to go tell the sheriff. That's good. Yeah. Um, So... TJ is still fighting um, Harry like crazy. And then Sarah finally has a moment of genius, and she rips the mask off of Harry. And surprise, it's Axel. What? I mean, honestly, we should have known because his name is Axel. Fucking Axel. Pick Axel. Because he uses an axe to kill. So we should have probably known. What? Whatever. What parents in the 60s are naming their kid Axel? I don't know. Axel is such an 80s yeah. name to me, or like a 90s, like, yes. my name's Axel. When was Axel Rose then I guess Axel Also, Rose. is that his real name? Is that name? his real name? <laughs> probably not. Probably I not. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I He's probably no born idea. in the 60s, though. Somebody tweet at me and tell me if Axel Rose Maybe. is his real name. <laughs> really? Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Surprise, surprise, it's Axel. He's been the killer this whole time. And we have a very quick flashback to when Axel was a baby or not a baby he was a like young Child. toddler I guess and Harry the real Harry killed his father on Valentine's Day and Axel witnessed the whole thing he was like under the bed all bloody and shaking and I guess I guess that means that you become a killer then well, I saw like I mean... a shot of him where he's like under the bed but he like had blood on his finger, then he like started to like suck his thumb. Oh yeah, he did. He's yeah. like, mm. I was like, hmm. And he did kind of have crazy eyes. Very he, he had his eyes very wide. Yeah, it was very yeah. 
Um, so I, I didn't really catch this part either, but I guess, I guess the mind collapsed on him a little bit. Cause, yeah, it's because they TJ, were fighting and they kept like hitting, they kept hitting the, stuff and yeah, yeah, the structure. So TJ and Sarah are able to make it out and see the sheriff, and they finally tell him that it's Axel. It's Axel been doing it the whole time. Yeah, and then I, I, I guess Harry, the uh, Harry was dead. That was the phone call that he got. Yes, was that yeah. was that that was the phone call. Was that Harry's been dead five, for five years, years ago? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, and then the mayor is there. He shows up, TJ's dad, and he goes. That's right. Harry killed Axel's father on February 14th. And it's like, like no friggin' right. dub, Mayor. <laughs> we get that <laughs> now. <Thanks>. No. <laughs> um, oh, Mayor, Mayor. So, oh, Mayor, Mayor. <laughs> <laughs> mayor, Mayor. <laughs> so all the townsfolk go down to pull Axel out of the rubble. And they, they see, like, a hand. And they're like, he's alive. He's alive. And so they pull it out, pull it out. But then it turns out that it's just a severed, a severed arm. But then they look through the holes of the rocks, <laughs> and Axel, <laughs> Axel has no arm. He just has a, a, an arm socket now, a bleeding arm socket. Arm socket. And then he starts to, <laughs> he starts to go a little nutso, yeah. and, and starts to sing, sing a little tune. And I, I can't exactly remember how it goes. But it, about Sarah being my Valentine. Yeah, yeah. he said something like "blah blah blah." Sarah, you're still my bloody Valentine. And I'm like, oh, he said the title. It, nice. Yeah. And then nice. he laughs like a crazy. And then he person. laughs like a nutso person. And that is fade to black. And that is the end yes. of my bloody Valentine. Woo! Oh, woo! What did everyone think? What a trip! That was a trip. What a trip to Valentine's Bluff. I kind of liked it. Yeah, I yeah. I, <laughs> I mean, it was not silly, like it. But <laughs> I yeah, did not like it. I don't know if I'll ever watch it again. Oh, to be I'm not gonna watch it again. But <laughs> it, was, it was like fun and dumb and you yeah. know. I mean, so I, I like I it don't... enough that I'll watch the 2009 one. Yeah, out yeah. of curiosity. What it's like on your 3D TV. On your 3D TV. Right. <laughs> as soon as I figure out man. the goggles. Because look, we watched the 2009 trailer on YouTube, and they are very much like 3D. Watch out for his pick. I remember that trailer. You. I remember because I remember being like, "That's dumb." Isn't yeah. My Bloody Valentine like a band too? Yeah, it is yeah. because I I also I researched the movie and the first thing that popped up was the band, the band. Like a <laughs> and screamo I was like, band. oh nope, yeah, yeah. A screamo band. It's probably a band I would really like. I should yeah. probably check them out. Yeah, I, I think you would. Seems like up your alley. Yeah. <laughs> um. Well, cool. Thank you guys for coming yeah, tonight. Thanks for having us. Wait, what was your favorite part? Oh my god, what was your favorite part? Oh my god, why did you both look at me like that? <laughs> because you're new. Oh, I'm new. You're new. Um, my favorite part. Uh, I love my favorite part was probably all the uh, stupid puns and all the little heart cards. Yes, the best. especially uh, the what was I can't remember hers now. Mabel's. What was Mabel's Rose again? Is red. Violets, Violets are, are blue. blue. One, is, one dead, is dead, and the next so one is you. you. And I was like, ah! <laughs> that was amazing. And I also literally wrote down the doctor is my favorite on my notes because oh yeah, this he was so dumb. Yep. He was just like, this is a human yes, heart, all right. This is a human heart. And I was like, thank yeah, you, no doctor. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, seriously. So it's it's a lot of fun. I mean, I think it probably seems like a pretty low budget movie. But it probably was. Yeah. They got they got away with. It was fun. Yeah, it's, they did it. All right, Joe. Yeah. You know, yeah. I like these old I enjoyed films. It. What was your favorite part, Ashley? Um, I liked all the podunky stuff they did, like yes. cooking <laughs> dinners on, <laughs> on a car, car engine and um, playing a harmonica, Jesse. whatever. Yep. Beautiful and, harmonica, might I add. Yeah. <laughs> and there was something else. Oh, they had like a million drinking games and none of them made sense. Like they would snort beer. Oh. Or they had like this yeah. really long. Oh, yeah. It was Howard, right? Wasn't it Howard it was, like, that was beer. snorting snorting coke but it was soda yeah <laughs> it was, was coca cola he made, like, he yeah. made a joke about, about like, he'd drown if he ever snorted coke or something. it was something like yeah he was yeah. yeah like i would snort coke but i'd drown yeah. as he's snorting Get beer up his yourself. nose so but they only showed it for a second but there's a game they played where they had a bunch of straws connected and two people were on either side blowing into the straw and there was beer in the middle so if you stop blowing for a second and the other person blew into theirs it would shoot up into oh your God. face <laughs> i kind of want to try that now i did not notice that at all but that sounds it amazing. was a split second but i was like <laughs> oh, what that. the hell game is this oh, <laughs> man. sick weird shit they got a lot of time on their hands to <laughs> for real <laughs> crazy games dude. they're awfully creative for a bunch of yeah. hillbillies i guess again <laughs> 
nothing else to do. Nothing else to do. Might as well make. Left. Might as well make some drinking games and I don't know. Drink don't know. your put that drink your liver your away. Good use. Take your liver away. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> this is this is what um, District 12 of the Hunger Games would have been like if they would have had alcohol. I actually thought about that. <laughs> I was Absolutely. Like, yeah. District 12. It is District 12. They just, yeah, because they're, they're all And yet people. somehow District 12 was more advanced. It was. Yes. <laughs> I don't know how. Oh I don't God. know. Because it's in the distant future, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, jeez. Got to call the author up. Be like, hey. What the hell? What the hell? <laughs> bruh. The hell, bruh. What was your favorite part? Hmm. I'm trying to think. <coughs> I really liked I I really liked all of the special effects. Because even yeah, though there good. wasn't that many of them, they were damn good when they showed they up. Were good. Yeah. yeah. I mean I, I yeah, like I thought it was a good movie overall. Yeah. The hearts, actually. the melty, the hearts, the, the melty, yeah, the, and like the dryer. Ma- Mabel's dryer. Yeah, shit, dryer body. Like yeah, dryer body singed off skin. Ugh. Ugh. Even the like weird artistic shot of uh uh what's her name? Sylvia's face with the water shooting out of her mouth. Oh, yeah. It wasn't like a straight on shot. No, it was the just shot like was it was him. just like barely her cheek, but still. But yeah. yeah, it was like a profile shot of her face yeah. that was slightly blurred in the foreground. Yeah, that was really cool. Yeah. And I did I did like that it was a little bit of a twist ending because I, I was going to be a little disappointed if it, if it really was just this guy, Harry, that everyone keeps being like, oh, he's back again. Oh, he's crazy. He's here. And, yeah. then and he I was is. like, okay, I'm glad that there was a small twist because I, yeah. I enjoyed twists. What they twist. I love a twist. What they twist. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Well, with that, I will say please follow me on the twits, the twitters. It is at Midnight Horror. And Midnight is spelled M-I-D-N-I-T-E, horror, because somebody else took p- f- fucking the actual spelling of it, which mm-hmm. was dumb. To do what with? I don't know. Who you cares? Ugh. Whatever. I'm doing Yours way more is with better. It. It's yeah. fine. It's fine. <laughs> Whatever. Um, check out our new Twitter handle called Evil Kitten Pods, at Evil Kitten Pods. <laughs> That's our newest Twitter handle. That's the Evil Kitten Productions overall you know, Twitter account. And uh, let's see, what else? We have a Patreon now, like I sort of mentioned before. You should all donate to the Patreon. Do um, it. It helps to pay our actors and writers, and you get some pretty cool stuff. Uh, mm-hmm. If you are... Like a, videos of Rachel like making drinks. videos of me making drinks. Yeah. <laughs> and we're also coming out with some some evil kitten swag. <gasps> we're going to have, like, stickers and posters and buttons. What? It's going to be cool. A poster? Yeah, man. <laughs> so that is patreon.com forward slash evil kitten productions if you guys are interested. Um, but yeah, other than that, I am Rachel Craig, and this is Midnight Movie Sode, and uh, stay scary, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>